As the name suggests, a hybrid bike is often a mixture of both a road bike and a mountain bike, with a greater emphasis on more casual riding and a bit more dedicated to comfort. That's not to say that these bikes aren't able to put the hard yards in though, and they're often able to tackle various terrains and surfaces. But how are hybrid bikes different to road bikes? Well, for starters, they tend to have a bit more of an emphasis on comfort, which is often dictated by their geometry. So a hybrid bike will have a taller head tube, which keeps you more upright when you're riding, and a shorter top tube, whereas on a road bike, that would be longer and you'd be a bit more stretched out. Most obvious, though, are the flat bars on a hybrid bike rather than the drop bars you'd find on a road bike. Not only do these create a more upright riding position, but they'll also inspire confidence in you, leaving you feeling more in control. Most importantly though, these flat bars will make the gears and the brakes easier to reach, which will again be of comfort to those perhaps not so used to cycling. The tyres might also be wider than you'd usually see in a road bike, and anywhere between 28 and 42 millimetres are common on hybrid bikes. The wider tyres are more capable of handling different terrains, meaning you'll be able to ride in more varied places. And the added bonus of the big tyres is that they smooth out the road surface, meaning a ride can be more comfortable. They'll also inspire greater confidence thanks to the added stability and grip due to the extra rubber. So what should you expect your hybrid bike to be made from? Well, like with road bikes, there are three main materials you'll expect to find a hybrid bike made from. Steel, aluminium and carbon. Steel is probably the material that is least likely to be used, although it can be very comfortable and also looks great. Carbon is starting to be used more and more, although it's a little high-end for most hybrid bikes and can raise the price. Most likely, a bike will be made from aluminium, which keeps the price down but is both comfortable and relatively lightweight. Increasingly, hybrid bikes will be made from both aluminium and have a carbon fork. This can help soak up bumps from the road and spare your hands if you ride in particularly rough areas. So what components can you expect? Well, it goes without saying that the more you pay, the better quality group set you'll get, which will be both lighter and offer better shifting. If you only intend to ride your bike to work, then you might be less bothered about the quality of the shifting and more bothered about how many gears you actually have on offer. If this is the case, or if you live in a hilly area, consider getting a 32-tooth sprocket on the rear to help you up any particularly steep climbs. Some cheaper hybrid bikes might even come with a triple chain set up front, giving an even greater range of gears. In terms of brakes, hybrid bikes will often come with rim brakes, although more expensive models might come with discs. These typically offer greater stopping power in wet or muddy conditions, giving you greater versatility in where you want to ride your bike. So what else should you consider when riding a hybrid bike? For starters, mud guards are a great idea. They catch all the water and mud from the ground before it hits you, keeping you clean and dry. Panniers can be a bit of a back saver if you tend to commute to work with a lot of luggage. They'll also eliminate any issues of a rucksack wobbling around on your back, as well as any obstructions to your line of sight when you're riding in traffic. It's probably also worth spending some time thinking about what pedals you want to use. You can opt for flat pedals, which means you can ride around in your normal everyday shoes, or you could go clipless, which means attaching yourself to the bike when riding. If you opt for this system of pedal, it might be worth going for something a bit more mountain bike focused, like Shimano's SBD system, which means it's easier to get in and out of the pedals, which is helpful if you're riding in traffic. Plus, the shoes you'll use with this pedal system tend to have a more recessed cleat, which makes it easier to move around if you get off the bike. So, that's everything you need to know about hybrid bikes. And with that, our last piece of advice would be just get out there, ride and enjoy it.